Hey all, this is Eric Booten, Sportsman and Engagement Coordinator for Trout Unlimited Alaska here in Anchorage. If you're not familiar with Trout Unlimited, we work throughout the state of Alaska to protect and conserve and restore fish habitat for the benefit of all user groups. One of the opportunities that we're extremely excited about right now is the opportunity to return salmon to the nearby Klutna River, where a century's worth of hydroelectric uh, development and water diversion has had a massive impact on the salmon fishery. So it's a nice spring day. I'm gonna take you up there. We're gonna tour around the watershed. We're gonna stop at the river where it meets Thunderbird Creek, right near the Glen Highway. Uh, we're gonna head up to Eklutna Lake, poke around, check out the upper dam, and then we're gonna jump over to the Eklutna Tail Race on the Knick River, which is an important piece of this puzzle. So this is the Eklutna River from the Old Glen Highway Bridge downstream of the confluence of Thunderbird Creek, a popular hike in South Central. At this point, the Eklutna River has met with Thunderbird and the water we're seeing here is overwhelmingly water from the Thunderbird Creek. The Eklutna River runs through historic Denina Ina land and the mouth of the Eklutna River where it meets Cook Inlet is located near the native village of Eklutna. The Eklutna people have used this area for hunting and fishing and subsistence for millennia and this is a special and important historical place for them and returning water, returning fish to this river are integral for them being able to continue their cultural practices and one of the pieces that we're really excited, one of the benefits that we're really excited about uh, in this opportunity to restore the river. We are now streamside at the Eklutna River, just downstream of the confluence of the Eklutna River and Thunderbird Creek. Just wanted to be able to share with you the heart of the issue here. Taking a look here at the Thunderbird Creek up at the confluence off to our right here, this is the incoming Thunderbird Creek. Off to the left is the incoming Eklutna River. The Eklutna River historically held all five species of salmon and ran at about the flow of nearby Eagle River. As you can see, the flow is nowhere near that today. It's a very, very small fraction of that. That's because no water is actually let out of the upper dam at Eklutna Lake. It's with great excitement for me to share, if you aren't aware, that throughout the course of 2016, 2017, and 2018 led through the leadership of Eklutna Inc., the native village of Eklutna, and the dedication from the Conservation Fund, the lower Eklutna Dam, which had been blocking fish passage for nearly a century, was successfully, successfully removed. And now fish can theoretically access all of the upstream habitat, and they just need water to do so. And that's part of what's gonna help bring salmon back to the Eklutna River. So without further ado, I'm going to climb my way out of here and we're going to go check out where the lower Klutna Dam used to be. So this is stop number two on our video tour of the Klutna watershed. We are on the edge of the Klutna River Canyon. This is looking at the Klutna River Canyon where the lower Klutna Dam used to be. So the lower dam on the Klutna River was removed just a couple years ago. That was a big win for fish and it was effectively part one in restoring the river. Now that salmon can access the eight miles plus of upstream habitat, they just need water to be able to do so. Putting that water back in the system is what phase two of restoring the Klutna River is all about. So next up, we're gonna head up to Eklutna Lake and see what's happening up there. Welcome to Eklutna Lake. This is stop three on our video tour of the Eklutna watershed and water use. Specifically, we are standing at the outflow of Eklutna Lake on top of the upper Eklutna Dam. The upper Eklutna Dam was built in 1955 originally to add additional electricity to Anchorage uh, and was actually rebuilt in 1965 after the massive 1964 earthquake. 
looking at the downstream side of the Eklutna Dam, we can see that no water is flowing down the Eklutna River. So in order to restore this watershed to a fully functioning and healthy state, we need water flowing down the Eklutna River so salmon can access spawning and rearing ground and spawn the next generation. And one step further would be some fish passage around the upper dam so that sockeye salmon can regain a foothold in the Eklutna Basin as well. No luck this time, but it might be helpful for the angler to know that Alaska Department of Fish and Game has routinely stocked Eklutna Lake with Dolly Varden as well as rainbow trout. So next time you're up here, make sure you wet a line. What's helpful to know about Eklutna Lake is that just off to the left hand side here underneath the water where we can't see it is the intake valve that removes water for Eklutna Lake, pumps it through the Twin Peaks area to the Eklutna hydropower plant. What's important to know about water use in the Eklutna Basin and the water that historically flowed down the Eklutna River is that 90% of that water goes to producing a small fraction of Anchorage's electricity, 6% at most, and the remaining 10% goes to providing water for Anchorage, drinking water, which is critically important. However, 0% goes to fish. And based off research, there's more than enough water to go around water to create electricity, water for drinking, and water for fish. We just need to figure out how to use it. All right, stop five on our video tour of the Klutna River water use. This is a place I'm sure many of you are familiar with, especially if you're salmon anglers in South Central Alaska. This is the Klutna Tail Race. We are no longer in the Klutna River Basin. We are now in the Knick River Basin. This is a very popular sport fishery created by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game by introducing Chinook and silver salmon for the purposes of sport fishing. Kings aren't here yet, they'll be here pretty soon, and these banks are going to be lined with anglers looking to fill the freezer. So what we're looking at here is the Eklutna hydropower plant behind these budding trees. Water being released from that power plant, which was diverted from Eklutna Lake, where it would have run down the Eklutna River and supported a wild fishery. One of the present challenges right now in restoring the Eklutna River and what has been a hurdle for decades is that we don't know what we're missing. We don't know what has been lost in the case of using the Eklutna River for hydropower. All we have are the stories of the native village of Eklutna and their historic use of the river, what has been passed down from their elders, which is a rich history of salmon that have supported them year after year. We have the opportunity to restore this river, and that is a powerful, exciting opportunity. And all we have to do is look at how we use water and help return water to the river for fish. And right now we have that opportunity with the mitigation process that's being initiated by the utility companies. 2020 is going to be a big year as they sit down and put together their study plans that are going to get signed off by the governor at the end of the year and ultimately determine the direction in which mitigation of the impacts to fish and wildlife is headed. So what you can do right now as an angler, as an Alaskan, as someone who cares about salmon, as someone who pays an electric bill to these companies, is show them some support. Make sure they know that you want to see a restored Eklutna River, fully functioning, full of fish, while making sure that we're still meeting our other water needs. So to be a part of the story of bringing the Eklutna River back to life, please take a second and go to the Trout Unlimited website and send a note to the utility companies who own the Eklutna Hydroelectric Project. Your voice counts and together we can bring this river back to life. I look forward to seeing you right here on the shores of the Eklutna Tail Race and on the shores of Eklutna Lake out exploring.
Have a great summer, Alaska, and good luck on the river.